Hello folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we're still in September. We have been busy, so what we've gone done is we've gone and mowed this grass field here, and the grass field down there. And I thought about doing hay, but we've got plenty of hay, like... We've got one half million liters of storage, we've got a couple of hay bales from contracts around the storage in the back, so... I thought, screw it, and just make some storage bales, so we've got... 16 bells, and that is a hundred and twenty thousand or so. What I'll do is I shall keep the engine off. We'll sell this in October. However, we also been doing is just gone around and collect everything that we've been growing and producing. So things like a wall. I remember we're not consuming enough wool to worry about, you know, put some more in, so we've got about two months supplies left, so I thought, heck it, let's sell some now, so it's going to be a bit of a variety of, we'll sell the butter here, since we'll get some absolute good prices, so 8,000 litres, that got us 27 grand, and now we'll go and sell the rest. So that's eight grand for some of that. So like, just make sure we're properly lined up. Sell the bread. And you need to think about also selling like the cakes and that. It's not so much cakes, more of the honey. Why ain't the honey selling? Is there a sell point for honey unless it's ah maybe it's a whole cell around the corner and he's going to perhaps. Let's have a little look. So there we go at the whole cell. And there we go. We're selling everything apart from the honey. Actually let's look at uh, go to our cell prices. Because I thought surely honey would have been accepted at one of these facilities, but I guess not. So, honey, farm production, farmers market, yada yada yada. So, nope. So, best place is Long Meadow. That's up there. Don't do tall trees, not town, not five view. What about the farmer's market? Is that the one up here? Alright, off to the farmer's market then. There we go, got turned around, so yeah, sell the honey now. And yeah, that is until about 100 grand we've just made, so... Yeah, I'll say not too bad, and what we need to do now is... We've only got maybe an hour or two of daylight left. Of workable daylight, I don't be working into the night again, so we need to start planting the canola. And that is get canoe oil next year to get crisp and that. So it's field six, field ten, and field five. Field five is a grass field, but I went to sacrifice that grass field. And yeah, trifling any fields adjacent to it. Besides for on like 105, 106 and that. Not really, so unless we do canoe that in 105 and 106, got plenty of grass fields at the moment. I think I should have a look. So, near all grass, yeah, we've got 46, 181. Yeah, we've got plenty of grass fields for now, so screw it. So, that's gonna be canola, 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 and canola. Also, we need to focus on this episode is the potatoes and sunflower. Because, yeah, they're ready tomorrow, so let me get us back to the farm. And then we get everything set up and then start planting the canoe down. And there we go, got the McKinsey hooked up. 
now is just the final delicate task of getting this out. I wish we could really get rid of that gate, because, yeah, we don't need the gate anymore, like... Initially this was a paint enclosure, but now... Yeah, it's not really needed, so... I got in here just about. We're having some issues at the moment. Lovely, as always. There we go. Got that sorted, so I think, yeah. Let's just start off doing up here, so... Yeah, the reason why we're doing this so close to each other is when we're harvesting, it's literally bang, take the header off, attach it, go across, bang, take onto the road, obviously attached, and then bang. Just get it all sorted, all lovely job leads. Actually, perhaps we should have mulched grass, but... Oh, well, it's too late now to worry about that, so... Ooh, close those. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of liquid fertilizer. Maybe we should... Yeah, actually, I think we're going to run out of liquid fertilizer. I know... Right Chris and Right S. Chris S and Right S, sorry. Are planning on doing an update on this, and I think it's something on the lines of having a rear attach on the back, so use something like Umatana's TARDIS stuff, put a 20,000 litre tank on the back, and get more seed. There are options on this to have more seed, but if you don't go down that particular route, you can just get a seed tank, so. Actually, yeah, we're going to be working out liquid fertilizer, so once we get this field done, let's go and, cause, yeah, shop's going to close, or the shop's going to close in 40 minutes, so I think then we get this field sorted, and then we'll head to the ship and pick up a tank for this, so I'll give them a quick ring now, get something ordered, and then we'll quickly go and collect it once we get this field done. So there we go, we've done the first two little fields, 105 and 106, and we have purchased this tanker, it's costed, what, about 7 grand or so? And on top of that, we spent 4 grand on 5,000 litres of liquid fertiliser. Yeah, we could have got it from the farm now, but plenty at the farm now. However, I just thought, since we're down here, just might as well use it. And just to get 6 and 10 and 5 done, I guarantee we'll, we'll be using the full 5,000 litres. Also, I have gone and just topped up the cedar net or planter. So yeah, let's get this hooked up. And then we'll start doing the fertilising and seeding. Because since it's a dark drill, Obviously, we plough the fields as well, we did, because it needs the ploughing. But what I won't be doing this year is rolling. Yes, we'll go and mulch the fields and that, just prep the surface and that, get rid of any stubble tillage and just any bits of straw or crop from last year. So we have a nice, clean, and leveled surface. Obviously, in that episode, we did try to do that. Uh, first of all, we tried to do a quality mulch, but that didn't work out because, obviously, at the time, I didn't realise we needed to plough the field, so... But in theory, that should be the last of it we need for a while. Maybe to the end of the series, I don't know, like... I'll be thinking about, what, yeah, when do we end the series? And to be honest, I'm done court farm, loving playing the map and that. And it's going to be one of those series I think I'll keep it going in that. Just have fun with it, enjoy myself, enjoy the map. Like, so far this map, I've got, what, if I had to guess, around 350 hours on it. Yeah, 350 hours. And my total playtime for Farm 22. And by the time this comes out, or day after this comes out, I'll, I'll do a little community post on showing my stats, but yeah, I think at the moment it's just over 4,000 hours I've done, so 
Inferno's not too bad, especially compared to FS19, where I've done two and a half thousand hours. Yeah, okay, get okay, this hooked up. There we go. Got Canola selected. There it is. Raise you off the ground. Oh yeah, this look at that, like 7,000 years of fertilizer and 4,000 years of seed. And I can guarantee you, just close to getting sick, we will be running out of the fertilizer first of all. But yeah, anyways, enough waffling on, waffled on enough, like, I'm dang, you're already missing bits on the edge, just try not to miss the edges this time, envoy. But yeah, let's go get these fields done, and then we'll resume in October, where we need to think about the potato harvest. So we have been a just a touch busy, so we've gone and got some bathing done, so hopefully these two bells we've got here, which are a hundred thousand years, should be able to complete all of these contracts, or at least two of them. And on here we've got obviously two hundred and twenty thousand years of slidage. Hundred thousand years were from just doing some of these contracts, but the 200,000 litres of grass, because I thought we got so much access to grass fields, so what I've done is I've gone and mowed all of this, and also there's a patch of grass up here, and I thought just heck it, go and mow that. So I mowed both of those, and I don't think there was anything else I just mowed, no, not down here. Yeah, it was pretty much just mainly these two areas, so... Obviously, we're going to keep that on here for now, because I don't want to risk losing the grass and that, because... Yeah, I want that used to be sold as... Soilage. So... That completed, what, both contracts? Ooh, no, only one, so... Alright, let me grab a couple of these off the lorry. Actually, you know what? If I do just untension strap, let's see those. Hopefully, we can grab these without picking up the lorry. Nope. So, who better be a sec? There we go, just get a couple of those off. So, yeah, then we get a couple of these just removed a sec. 
and then we'll get these contracts completed. So alright, we got 37,500 litres worth of bells. Is that enough? That's enough for two. So we'll get those completed and we we'll accept some more contracts. So accept that one. Ted in no silage. Silage, so twenty nine and one thirty. We we'll accepted one for twenty two, so accept one for twenty nine. Oh, yeah, I think we need like two more bells, maybe. Uh, so, you know what? Screw it. Let's just. We got 152,000 litres of signage. These should be enough to complete all the contracts. Yes, it is. Lovely. And obviously, get some money in. So that is 70 completed, and we need to cut those two. That is 49 grand for that. Lovely jubbly. And we set the contract for 130, so... Yep, yeah, 130, 22, and 29. So, let's get these rest back on. We'll take these back to the farm, and... Yeah, it's time to f more focus now on the harvesting. So, we've got sugar beet, corn, no sorry, sugar beet, sunflower, and potatoes to deal with. So, let me just get this all sorted, and then we'll see what we bought, because I've gone and borrowed some equipment that will help us with the harvesting. Well, just a little quick detour, I did go and get those contracts completed, so we have a look. Yep, we gave them 150,000 litre size bell, and that was enough for all three contracts. That is lovely. And yet, hay contracts, I'll leave them for now. Harvesting sunflower, they're not interested at the moment. But now... What we need to do is start harvesting the potatoes. So we've got everything here ready. So we've got our Homer T440, we've got our trader over here, and there, yeah, there's a combine there for the corn. And I will be leasing a second header later on that can do the sugar beet because I completely forgot until. Yeah, so this in between episodes, looking at stuff and that, we have a look. We've got field 14. And that is ready to harvest. And if we look at the crops, that is sugar beet. So, we'll harvest that, and I think for the sugar beet, we'll process to make sugar. So I think we can do with some sugar at the moment. So unfold the header. Unfold the harvester. And yet the potatoes we're gonna be processing to make potato soup. So if we have a look at our productions. So yeah, obviously got our usual stuff, but right at the end, we got the potato processing plant, and we do have some we were never ready, I think, if we have a look. So yeah, a touch of canola oil. When we harvest the sunflower, we'll get those processed and transported over. So by the end of the day, hopefully we should be producing crisp and... That is, what, 40,000 litres of potatoes processed a month? So yeah, that is, what, times by 1,000, 30... Just under 15,000 litres of crisp we can make a month. So it actually is a little bit less with canoe oil. No, sorry, that's olive oil. Which makes sense, but yeah, looking at preserved foods. We need to start shifting some of these pallets. Also with our soup, 
we have a look. Yeah, still need to. Well, actually, wonder what the sizes of these are, but yeah, I've still got plenty of property process. Yeah, I've got a bugload of storage, so actually, what head are we gonna buy? Oh yeah, the standard header, thankfully. Because yeah, I'm not interested in the like unrealistic stuff. I know, like recently, to this Colossus has had an update. I know. Actually, the Ferris, I didn't really notice the recent, the one before update on like the additions of crop headers and that. I lose the ability to process. Wait a minute, what's this bell here? Is that a hay bell? It is a hay bell. I completely forgot about that. Oh, lovely. Just get the move out of the way. But yeah, so you can do like the root crop stuff and that, and that is, yeah, a nice thing, but yeah, we're going to be using that on this series. I do want to try to avoid using as much unreasoned unreason stuff as possible. I know we use some bits for like the size work and the, um, the new root crops and that, but overall, I just want to be, just keep it as reasonable as possible and yes do you realize this engine is absolutely loud like okay that's better if we do it in cab then we really have to speak as much may try to normalize the audio in editing one of the things i'm still trying to work on is like getting the audio stuff figured out perfectly like yeah i know there's a sort of trick to it but yeah, so we're a third full at the moment. At 20,000 a year, so... I know I said we were going to use... Uh, certain stuff, but... If we have a look... I think we've got... Yeah, the Titan Trader. If we just go bulk crop unrealistic, half a million liters. Actually, sir. Oof. Didn't realize we was going to go for that hedgerow there. We do have auger wagons, and. Yeah, they don't accept potatoes. Neither does that. Got the manure carts. That's a possibility. So, but yeah, looking at the capacities, yeah, fifty thousand liters, forty-five. So yeah, I think we'll stick with what we've got at the moment. Yeah, use the transnats, and yep, yeah, every every load we need to transport it over. So, but you know what? That's Fine, maybe actually we can look at maybe getting two traders so then because yeah if we're gonna have to cart it all the way to the top right corner of the map yeah we need yeah, at least two or three traders I think realistically so maybe I'll start looking at that so even if it's just leasing it out just it's something in that Actually, let me have a little look here a sec, so we get his head and done. And then, uh, yeah, start looking at traders and that and see what we can find. And alright, so I've come up with a nice little solution here. And that is using not one, not two, not three, but four of these Tardis traders. These are 3,000 years each, so that is 120,000 years, that is two loads worth. And also, along with the, uh, what was it, the Transit. Actually, what is that name of the train again? Is it Transit or something on those lines? Or the Trans, well, same thing, but yeah, so, we've got potential of three, four notes. Pop back in there, and that should be enough to get all of this done. So we get these potatoes done, 
also got potatoes by the green mill. And then we'll proceed to doing the sugar meat. And once we've cleared away to the other fields, we'll get the cob mined over. And then we'll start harvesting the sunflower. And then, com combination of all that, we'll get sugar on the way, we'll get potato soup on the way. And get the oil on the way as well. So, yeah, I think the best way to get this done is a little short time lapse. So, yeah, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks probably in the afternoon by the time we get all this done here, I think. And there we go, it is quarter past five. And yeah, we've collected 3,000 litres of milk off the cows. What I'm also going to do is load up with the rest of the bowels. There was more milk. We bought a few IBC tanks, and that's because we've gone and got the eggs transported over to the bakery. So if I look here, I've still got some eggs. On top of the fence. Into here, and we have a look. Technically the only thing we're low on is flour, but... Because everything is the equals amount, so... If anything, flour is what we've got most of at the moment, and... Of course we need flour, just go to the grain meal, like we're producing so much at the moment, so... But yeah, also, we've done the sunflower, we've done the sugar, beet, and we've done all the potatoes, so that's all been harvested. And to speed up the oil production, what I've gone done is got two more of these farm productions. So yeah, they'll be making us some more sunflower oil. I've gone into our productions, look at contracts first of all, Ted in, screw it, we'll do another hay contract. Okay, actually, you know what, that's going to take us forever to go down, so if we head over to the potato production, there we go, go on and move some pallets over, so we've got a fair few pallets of soup, Maybe, yeah, is this soup? No dear. No, that's the soup over here, so we go over here and have a look look at our preserved foods. Oh that's all being emptied. 
But yeah, look at our potato soup. We've got 305,000 litres in at the moment. And for the crisp, I did load up with 219,000 litres and we do have some crisp already. So that's here. I shall turn on our markers because I want to see where this comes out. So that's the input. I'm guessing the output is somewhere here. Oh yeah, right here. So looks like it's going to be 2,000 litre pallets like these. Yeah, they're 2,000 litres. So we'll get those loaded on and sold tomorrow maybe. Yeah, in all October 1. Oh yeah, I just want to have a look at the suit because... Yeah, we need to figure out when we're going to sell these because we're producing so much at the moment. So best prices is... Actually, looking at that, like... There ain't that much fluctuation, so really... We could sell these at any time, like... 3400, we're getting 3500 at the Forge Dealer. Almost three grand at Forge Dealer and Finance Stores. We can get up to three grand, yeah, three grand at Tam Stores. So, yeah, potentially we can sell all of this, and I think that's something we'll leave for the next episode. But, yeah, let me just get this milk loaded up. And then we'll take us back to the farm and fill up the bakery. So there we go, got milk and we have a look. Because I didn't show the sugar beet, so 421,000 litres we got from that. So yeah, we can get that converted into sugar beet cut, or at least half of it. And I'm thinking we've got some options, we could use the trader with the beat cutter like we used last time or we can do a little conveyor set where we convey it from the uh, where is it to over here the root crop storage actually we should be paying attention to where I'm going but yeah get a little conveyor out so then offloads it and takes it up in the way and there's like a little almost like a little crusher that Let's us crush the sugar beet into sugar beet cut, so I am definitely open for that, so let's just get this loaded in, and then feed around off the episodes, I'll show you what I'm on about. There we go. Oh. Wait a minute, is that all the milk it holds? Seriously, I put all this extra milk over. Ah, that's full, so... Actually, how's the butter situation? So, looking at the butter, actually... You know what, we can do some more of that, so you know what, screw it. Let's make a load of butter, so... Let me get it sorted, and then I'll show you what my plan is with the sugar beet situation milk has been put in. So yeah, we've got the root crop storage here. And just to remind ourselves, so we've got not just the sugar beets, but we've got 482,000 litres of parsnip and 790,000 litres of carrots. So, but yeah, my thinking is we get a conveyor out that goes from here to, let's say somewhere over here, a bit more of an open space. And there are some helpful mods to help us with that. So go to our belt system. Got your base game stuff. Got the Meridian stuff or the Conveil stuff. Got the Groomy stuff. But I'm thinking something like these. Some of these like Mark II conveyors. So maybe something like that. So get that bought down. We'll lease it. How much is it going to cost to lease? Two and a half grand. And then, we can say that can go into, I think it's under Productions, Factories. And yeah, it's something I used on No Man's Land recently with Survival Challenge. 
But yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, Snow White is in here. I know it's not the most fastest of, technically it is a production. But yeah, so you convey it somewhere over here. Then what you could do is just get the front loader over, get John Deere, get a bucket full. And then, as needed, we can just transport over to the cookie factory and always get our sugar from it. So yeah, I'm thinking half and half, so 200,000 200, litres of sugar beet and 200,000 litres of sugar beet cut. So yeah, that's my plan and I think next time I was going to do it in this episode, but because I had to prioritise the harvesting and around about midday we had a bit of rain so we had to stop for about two hours or so before we could resume harvesting, two or three hours. That's why it took us so long until five o'clock to get everything done. But yeah, so we need to plan our next crop, so go look at our crop candor. We're going to be planting canola. We're going to be doing sorghum, so that's in April, fair enough. Also, we're doing... What else was it? Sorghum, canola, and potatoes, that was it. Some more potatoes, and maybe even some more sunflower. So, most of that also has to be waited next year, and we'll divide that up between our fields. The new root crops, I ain't gonna do any more of those. Once we've run out, we've run out. It's what it is. Tempted doing fill beans again, get a little bit of profit coming in, but I don't think so really. Alfalfa is an option, but yeah, I'm thinking do several fields of canoe that we discussed in last episode. And then we'll plant some winter wheat and barley, winter oats, add then a little bit of rye, and that's it. So keep the green mill on the way. I actually haven't checked Green Mill recently. I know we've got the big bag support system. Ooh. That is almost full, so we get another bag of those. And actually, with the flower, since we're checking on when we're going to sell everything, when is a good time to sell the flower? December, so a few months away, 2100 at the moment. Obviously, the cookie cell station does offer a higher margin. But yeah, that is 400 grants in there, so... Yeah, we don't really need any more of my crops like to fill me, so... Yeah, you know what, fair enough. I'm happy with everything at the moment, so... I think, yeah, I'll just park these up. And then, yeah, tomorrow... What we'll do is go and sell all of our produce here. Also, our bunker size here ready. But primarily, we need to plant the winter crop. So, there we go. That's part. Grab the other John Deere. I haven't used that for a while. So, yeah. I'm happy with everything. We're cracking on really well. We've making crisp, and actually. Let's skip a bit and wait until we get our first pallet of Chris. And there we go, so we've got our first pallet of potato chips. Some delicious crisp. So that I am happy with. And we do have a great demand at Foy Down Bells, I think it was. Foydan Sore, ooh, what's that? Ah, uh, no, Foydan Sores, and it's great not doing great, so no worries. And the used market, nothing to our interest, so that's where I'm going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that like button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very choose to do. Hope you understand. But for now, this is me for Evolution Stream, and I'll see you all.
a very soon.